Hello and welcome to another episode of Blaster Katie Painting. Today we're going to quick and easy paint Stormtroopers because I can't handle painting any more white. I need to have a way to do these guys quick because I can't. We can't paint any more white. That's it. I've painted all my Empire stuff. I've painted uh, Commission Empire stuff. No more. No more white. I'm taking a stand. I'm taking a stand. I can't stand. Sometimes I have to cut myself off from my own rant. Today we're going to be painting some quick and easy heavy stormtroopers. These are 3D prints from, uh, it used to be called Maddox Design, and I can't think of what it's called now. But I'll put a link in the description below to show where you guys can get these. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to spray these guys black, and then we're going to give them a Xenithal spray of white from above. So we want to do a bit of a 45 degree angle of a bit of a light spray, and then from the very uh, top from above we're going to go heavy. And here we have our stormtroopers. They are white. And guess what? Because of that gradient, most of the work is now done for us. And we don't have to paint any more white if we don't want to. Thank God! We're going to take some Grave Lord Grey. This is going to go into all these spots where there uh, would be a bodysuit. If you get any on the white, just get it off there. Use a damp brush. Use your finger because we don't want to mess up that white. We're done with it. So any spot where the bodysuit's showing through, uh, the armpits, the knees, and also their gloves. We're also going to use this on the mask. Um, best advice I can give here is Google some pictures of Stormtroopers and look at where they actually have some of this uh, dark spots. And we're going to slip this into the eyes as well. Just let the speed paint do its thing and kind of fill in the spot. Having done the black and the white, if you're just painting regular stormtroopers, you're almost already done. But these are heavy stormtroopers, and they've got uh, extra guns and doodads. Here we go. Now we're going to take some grim black, and this is going to go on the weapons that they're holding. We're going to take some hardened leather and this is going to go on all the pouches and straps that they have. And we're going to take some fire giant orange. This is going to go on any of their orange uh, pauldrons that they have. Uh, some of them have the sand trooper uh, pauldrons there. This is going to go right on there. Uh -huh. 
Now we're gonna go back to our grim black here. This is gonna go on the band around uh, the helmet. So right above the eyes, there's a black band. Um, so just be careful. Again, try not to get anything on the white, but try to get it completely painted. Just take your time, go slow. This grim black is also going to go all over their backpacks. Then we're going to take some electric blue, some moon yellow, and some escorpina green. And we're just going to do some of the little spots here on their backpacks. Just to add some color blinking lights, you know. Uh, basic Star Wars stuff that there are just lights on things for no reason. You don't know why they're there, but they're there. I'm sure in the world of Star Wars they serve a purpose, but in the world of the making of Star Wars they were just for fun. And we're going to take some orange fire and this is going to go on some of them have a bit of a piece over their eye like almost like a targeting uh, computer or targeting array we're just going to color that with the uh, orange then we're going to take some agaros dunes and this is just going to go on the bases um i've said before i'm not a huge fan of pre-sculpted bases but the idea is to get these done super quick Once that is done and dried, we will add a black rim around the base and these guys are done. And these guys turned out pretty good for, I mean, we didn't have to do a lot of work on them and that's what we're looking for. Now we could go through and add some shades. We could go through and add some pin lining on the armor, but honestly for tabletop ready, this is great. And these were done super fast. So that's a quick and easy way to paint um, the stormtroopers. Can't think of any easier way to do it. That's gonna get that smooth of a result. Um, dry brushing is gonna make them look very chalky. Um, this is the best way I've found, honestly. And you could take them to the next level by just pinlining their armor pieces, and they they would look really good. There is a bunch of new uh, Battle Force boxes that have come out for this game, and heavy stormtroopers are in the Blizzard Force box. So I really wanted miniatures that uh, actually showed heavy stormtroopers, so these will work really cool as proxies for them. In the comments below, I would like to know aesthetically what your favorite Imperial unit is. Is it the stormtroopers, the scout troopers, the snow troopers, the shore troopers, the death troopers, or the Imperial uh, Guard? Uh, I really like the scout troopers. I really like the snow troopers. I really like the death troopers too. Let me know what you think. As always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Now we're going to take some Gravelord Grey and this is going to go hold the fort. That's not the right color. Yes, it is. Dang. In the comments below, I would like to know what your favorite... Um, imperial